can you engrave metal with a laser? The short answer, yes. So I am using the Arfiro Laser 2. It is a fantastic laser for beginners, for crafters, for hobbyists. Take a look at the video up above and you can see the whole unboxing setup and learn about why I love this laser. So as far as engraving metal goes, you can engrave a number of different types with a diode laser, including stainless steel, anodized aluminum, powder coated metal, plated metal, or anything that is painted. I highly recommend taking a look at the Artur website and their materials reference guide. This is going to give you a detailed list of what you can and cannot engrave in different settings to use. These are wallet sized bottle openers. They fit snugly into a wallet. They're about the size of a credit card. And once you engrave them, they make a great gift. You can pick up a pack of these on Amazon. There's a link down in the description if you wanna get some. The first thing we wanna do is focus this laser. So we have to do this manually. So I'm gonna put the bottle opener underneath the laser and then use this piece that comes with it lay it right on top. Then there is a set screw on the side of the laser here. I'm just going to lower it until the plastic piece sits right on top of that amber colored one. Tighten the set screw and then pull out that amber color plastic. Now we are perfectly focused. Now I'm going to head over to Laser GRBL. This is a free laser software. Uh, it works pretty well. Um, I love that it's free. So if you are just getting started with laser engraving and cutting, definitely take a look at this. I typed up some initials and a little design that I did on Canva and I downloaded it as a PNG. Now I uploaded it to Laser GRBL. On the first screen, I'm going to crop my design down. Now, in the end, I ended up taking off those kind of curved lines at the bottom, but the process is still the same. I am going to use horizontal lines and about 12 lines per millimeter. Then in the next screen, I am going to set the speed. What I really like about this is I can pick my laser. It's a five watt diode laser and pick the material and it's going to automatically choose the settings for me. I'm also going to set my size in millimeters and I'm ready to create this. Now you connect the laser by clicking the little connect button up in the top left and then down on the bottom you want to hit the unlock button. If you are new to this laser, be sure to check out my intro video and you can see all of these steps right from the beginning. Now we want to make sure that the laser is centered. So I'm going to hit the center button, go over to my sheet machine and make sure that it's where it needs to be. Then I can click this frame button and it just draws a little frame around my design. So again, I can ensure that it's going to be engraved in the right place. When I'm all ready to go, I just come up and click this green button and it's going to start engraving. Engraving stainless steel is a pretty slow speed, so this did take about 50 minutes to do. Always ensure when you're using your laser that you're wearing safety goggles and that you're in a ventilated space. Once this is complete, I left it alone for a little bit because the metal does get warm. When it cooled down, I just wiped it off. There was a little bit of residue on it, but it came off nicely. And this is complete. So yes, you can engrave metal with this laser. The Afiro Laser 2 is fantastic for crafters, hobbyists, anybody as a beginner that is just getting started with a laser. I love this machine specifically for its price point. This is not going to break the bank. It comes in right around $250. Take a look at the link down in the description. You can look at the product, see some demonstrations of it, and you can buy it for yourself. What else do you want to know about cutting and engraving with a laser? Let me know down in the comments. I have lots more videos in the works, and I would love to make one that answers your questions. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I am here every week with new craft videos and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.